The climate and ecological crises are among some of the greatest challenges facing humanity. Biodiversity loss and climate change are both having profound impacts on societies around the world. In order to tackle these challenges, it's important we understand how they relate to each other. Our warming world is changing fast. In the past 100 years, global temperatures have increased by 1.2 degrees Celsius, which is increasing the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events. This can lead to the extinction of species, devastation of ecosystems, and reduction of their ability to store carbon, with parts of the Amazon rainforest now emitting more carbon than they naturally absorb. Biodiversity loss also reduces the ability of nature and people to adapt to a warming climate. Damaged mangroves, for example, harbour less fish and food for local people compared to healthy mangroves and offer less protection from rising sea levels. Strategies to tackle climate change aren't always good for biodiversity. Monoculture plantations of trees, for instance, can grow fast and absorb carbon but don't support much diversity of wildlife. So solutions must be truly nature-based to protect, manage and restore ecosystems while tackling climate change and improving human well-being. Fortunately, solutions that tackle both challenges simultaneously do exist. And with the participation of local people, societies can adapt to and mitigate climate change while boosting biodiversity. Together, we can find solutions that work for people, wildlife, and the planet as a whole. Find out more about the links between climate change and biodiversity and the actions required to tackle them together by reading our briefing paper. <laughs>